Okay YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you how to boot Yosemite and Mavericks from a, an external hard drive USB 3.0 So, this is my BIOS, I was selecting the disk and this is Clover, my bootloader installed in this disk As you can see Clover detects all the hard drives and SSD drives in my machine. I'm going to select Yosemite first. The speed is not is not changed in order to have an idea how long it takes to to boot. So if you are boring move forward If you wish to know how my Hackintosh is built, all the parts, you need to check my, my other video with all the, the parts to build a machine like this, ok? So, Yosemite, booting, this is the developer's preview, just for testing. So on my left side we have the the external hard drive where I have three partitions one for Yosemite, one for Mavericks and the other for Data. On my right side it's the internal drives. Mavericks is my SSD Maverick SATA, it's my second second installation of Mavericks and keep my data is also for, to keep data. I also have Windows 8. So let's put now for Mavericks from my external drive. Once again is not fast and or cut it so if you want move forward Thank you. 
Okay, this is Maverick's installation from the external hard drive. I changed the default wallpaper. Opening this utility just to show you all the devices, all the the hard drives installed in this machine. So I have the SSD Mavericks for default. I have a, a SATA hard drive also with Mavericks installed and some another partition for to keep my data. I have an 80 gigs Fujitsu for Windows 8. And this one terabyte total is my testing hard drive. As you see, the, the partitions are very small. This is just for testing, and just in case something happens to my main installation, I can repair it. So, if you like the video, Please give it a like and subscribe, thank you!